Hello, it's me, Anya. So, radio people, radio hosts, picture this. You're on your radio show. You've got a cracking guest. You know your listeners are going to love him. But for some reason, you're sort of stumped on what to ask him. It's like you've got the material to unlock some interesting conversations. You just don't know quite how to unlock it. Well, worry no more. Radio.co is here to help you, as always. Thanks for checking out Radio.co on YouTube. If you want to see more kit reviews, live webinars and handy broadcasting tips, then give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click the bell icon. Yes, indeed, we have rounded up 20 exciting interview questions to ask your interviewee. After all, everyone has a good story to tell, but how they tell it? is up to you. Before we fully kick off though, here's a five-step rundown of how an ideal radio interview should maybe go. Number one, start with the opener. Break the ice with soft questions like asking them about themselves. Number two, deep dive. This is the substance of the interview, so you want to ask really specific questions early on. Number three, fun times. <laughs> Weaving quirky or silly questions to balance out the serious ones. Maybe not too quirky though, you're not weird Al. Number four, challenging questions. As you draw into a close, it's a good idea to ask difficult or maybe even controversial questions. Number five, the closer. This is where you kind of wrap up the guest promotional material and any loose ends throughout the interview. So to really reinforce that structure, your questions should kind of cover those bases. And R20 do. Let's go. Number one, can you briefly introduce yourself and your background? So it's like we said, you start off with an icebreaker. People love talking about themselves. Trust me, take it from me. I love it. This question is a great jumping off point for a guest so they can fully tell you who they are and what they do to the point. Number two, what inspired you to pursue your current profession? Everyone has dreams, right? This is another great question to really get to the root of who your guest really is. It also gives you somewhat of an idea as to how they are, where they are in their journey. You could even build on this question and kind of get them to offer advice to your listeners. Get your listeners to dream big, just like your guest did. Number three, what is the most exciting project that you're currently working on? Look, chances are your guest probably has something to sell or promote. They might be on there out of the goodness of the heart, but it's likely the first one. Every interview should shift the spotlight onto your guests so that they can highlight what they've come here to do. That's to use your platform to talk to your listeners. And hey now, that's not a bad thing. Just make sure you get what you need. Number four, can you share any milestones or achievements in your career? Okay, so this one's kind of a victory lap. Even the most humble of guests won't shy away from talking about their achievements. And to be fair, there's probably some really interesting stories behind those gold medals, so it's worth digging deeper. And again, a great opening question to really keep that positive tone throughout the interview, we reckon anyway. Number five, and we're getting personal now. How do you balance your working life and your personal life? Just like walking a tightrope, balancing your personal life and your professional life can be tricky. Trust me, I'm still learning how to do that myself. It's an age-old question that has so many different personal answers to it. Obviously, it depends what profession your guest is in, but it's definitely worth asking. Number six, can you share any influences or role models who have influenced you? So this is the part where you ask your guests whether there's anyone they see as a leading figure or icon within their industry, world, creative sphere, Whatever, whoever inspires them, whoever makes them tick. Let's say you have a theoretical physicist on. They're going to talk about Stephen Hawking. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fair enough. Again, it's another question that's just going to give you a broader understanding of your guest, which will create a better connection. Number seven, what is the biggest challenge facing your industry in the future? With the rise of AI, pretty much every industry is facing new challenges that will shape the next decade or so. Even creative industries in the uh, <clears throat> media aren't safe. Number eight, bit of a biggie. What impact do you hope to make with your work? Now, whatever answer your guest gives, guaranteed you're going to get a closer look inside their psyche. You're going to see what they value to their core and also benefits the interviewee. Number nine, we're going in with the fun, lighter questions. Now, it can be any sort of cultural media question, but 
As an example, what's the one piece of media that everyone should experience? So here you're really opening up the interviewee to talk about TV, books, films, plays that they might have enjoyed, that listeners can relate to, and you can bounce off as well if you know what they're talking about. And listen, you'll be chatting for the foreseeable if it's anything like the Radio.co team and Doctor Who. Number 10, a soft question, literally. What comfort could you not go without? Think delicious food, a good book, the blanket that you have when you were seven. Well, anyway, get your guests to share what they could not live without. Just Desert Island Discs it. Number 11, how do you bounce back from setbacks? Much like Alan Partridge, bouncing back is something we all likely have an experience of. Indeed, there can be... Hilarious responses to this question, or mildly traumatic responses to this question. Number 12, if you could turn the clock back, what would you do differently? Honestly, in any setting, it's really fun to hear people's answers to this one. You'll get some along the no regrets daredevil line, and then you'll get some that are kind of haunted and preoccupied with embarrassing things they might have done in their youth. Um, <laughs> Not me, of course, but anyway, it's personal, but it can teeter into career discussion. Another good, well-rounded, broad question. Number 13, what challenges have you faced in your career and how did you overcome them? So, not everything is smooth sailing, so we need some tricky questions. Bumps along the road definitely make for some interesting stories, but most importantly, how guests overcome those bumps in the road is the most interesting part. No one wants to hear a sad ending, but they want to hear a happy triumph. So make sure you end it on the overcoming part. Number 14, what's the most important lesson you have learned from failure? Failing is the first step in becoming good at something. So go on, ask your guests what they've learned from failure. Even if their stories are embarrassing, your listeners will get a kick out of their down-to-earth trials and tribulations that we've all been through. Your listeners will want to relate to who they're hearing and what they're hearing. Questions like this humanise your guests, even if they're like mega celebrity. Number 15, can you share any experiences where you had to lead through a crisis? Sounds a bit job interviewy, but stick with us. When things go wrong, who are you going to call? Jokes aside, it's often sink or swim in a crisis. And like we say, the most difficult moments in our lives are the ones that define us. Deep dive into a time when your guests had to guide themselves through a difficult period. It's going to be inspirational, emotional, humorous. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. <laughs> I had to do my super nanny impression. Um, <clears throat> number 16, how do you balance creativity with practicality? Creativity is all about experimentation, but that doesn't often lead to practical applications. And the creative industry, like all arts, knows this too well. The trick is to find the middle ground. And again, you've probably got aspiring listeners in the creative industry. This way, you're kind of inadvertently getting your guests to explain their creative process and also giving tips to their listeners. Number 17, can you share any upcoming projects or collaborations? Let's bring it right back to the guests and their possible, possible promotional work on your show. Hello, things to come are almost always exciting because you don't know what they're going to be. You could even catch some intel on this question if your host has a burning idea that's just at the starting line. You could even get them to make a really exciting announcement just on your show by asking this question. Ultimately, though, showing off what your guests are working on next only reinforces how current and relevant your guest is to your show. It also shows how interested you are in your guests, so they'll probably appreciate that. You could even reword it as number 18. Can you share any upcoming initiatives you are excited about? This way you're already introducing your guest's next project as exciting. It's going to get the listeners hooked. Yeah, you might be making a mountain out of a molehill, but who cares? Sensationalise it for the listeners. Your guest next project is extremely exciting because they're talking about it on your exciting radio show, duh. Number 19, what's the best piece of advice that a friend shared with you? Advice from your close friends just hits different. You really trust what they say, right? Friends might not mean to, but they'll probably share some nuggets of wisdom with you that you'll carry for the rest of your life. I mean, if you think about what it feels like to get asked this question, 
you're reminiscing, you're going back throughout your journey. And as we've hopefully reinforced, your guest journey is integral to your interview questions. And finally, number 20, how do you overcome self-doubt or imposter syndrome? End it on an inspirational note. Imposter syndrome is constantly doubting your own abilities, feeling like you don't deserve rewards. To be honest, that feeling often doesn't go away no matter how successful your guests may be. But they've probably come up with some coping mechanisms to sort of squash those feelings of self-doubt. And chances are, it's another thing that your listeners will share with your host. Like we say, it's always advised to end on a positive note. So, those are some of our suggestions. But trust me, we've got a plethora more. If you check out the radio.co blog, we've got an extended list of 100 questions that interviewers can ask their radio guests. As always, happy broadcasting. And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the Radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me. Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.